and everyone follows him. Hello, how are you doing? Well, I'm just gonna talk about how I just think Tony Mowbray needs to go and everybody be saying, are you stupid? But I'm not making any more excuses because we haven't got Stuart, Stuart, Stuart. I'm just sick to death of hearing that. The you know, performances have just been just shit. I mean, we've only won two at home. Um, the players just don't seem to know where they want to be. Well, what roles they're doing. I mean, it was just so disjointed um, against Cardiff. It was just, it was awful to watch. And it was the same against Burnley second half. It was just, it was just absolutely shocking. Um, even Huddersfield weren't the best, to be honest with you. And you've got managers out there like Sean Dyche. Who's, he hasn't got a job. Do you know what I mean? And the massive club like Sunderland, I mean, where's our ambition? Why didn't they gang for him? I, I would shove Tony Mowbray out the door and gang for someone like Sean Dyche. If they want real ambitions, if our owners want real ambitions for this club, you know, fair enough, not gang for promotion, but to consolidate us in this division. But I don't think Tony Mowbray will. We're, we're dropping like a brick. Teams below us are starting to pick up points there. Teams who were like way behind us are now catching us up, if not overtaking us. Um, you know, Tony Mowbray's interviews, they're just fucking dire. You know, it's like listening to Parky or Simon Gray's in it. Just, how the fuck is that going to motivate your team? Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, I only want what's best for the club. You know, I'm not asking for a promotion. Stability is definitely the aim this season, but we're not going to get it with Tony Mowbray. If we stick with Tony Mowbray, he's going to take us down. And the owners have got to have got to fucking see this. And I'm looking on social media, and there's more and more people on social media now beginning to say the same thing. You know, if we play fucking shit against Birmingham, and we get just totally demolished, or another performance like it was um, against Cardiff then he's got a gun and we should never have appointed fucking Tony Mowbray in the first place that was the problem the majority of Sunderland fans didn't want him there was better better choices out there than that I knew straight away when we were getting Tony Mowbray it's like he's not going to last till fucking Christmas his fella and I'm not having to do it as, as an excuse there's one man can it make a huge huge difference that match against Cardiff was just it was just shite. It was like the party days, the Grayson days. It was like the fucking shit sullen side we had with the old Butcher's Apron strip when we were in the championship and we were just fucking awful to watch the season we got relegated. The season that we're on um, um, Sun Until I Die on Netflix. You know, we're, we're getting back to that calibre. And it's like, what the fuck are the owners doing? You know, they're, they're just I'm beginning to wonder, do they, do they have a fucking clue? Like, we not, Tony Mowbray ain't, ain't, ain't the man, he's not even going to get you fucking established, but get the, get the game remain. And I've just been listening to Sean Dyche, he's, he's, he's not working at the minute. Again for a fucking manager like that. Pay him what he wants, get the fucking club some stability. Football is unfortunately about spending money and not getting fucking yes men all the time. You know, you're never going to go forward as a club if you didn't spend money. I mean, New Newcastle United has proven that. And we're just like getting yes men, yes men, yes men all the time. We're just fucking stale. All we seem to do is get yes men and get loans, get loan players all the time. It's like we need to get our own players. Stop these fucking loan players as well and get our own in. Sign players. But... He's got to me. mowbray has got a got a gun. He's, he's got a gun. And getting you need a manager like Sean Dyche or something. It would have been a, he would have been a fucking perfect fit for Sunderland. Um, the warning signs have been there for weeks under Mowbray. We're just we're just fucking shit. Not even getting out of your chair, getting excited watching us play. But like I say, two wins at home. I mean, it's fucking awful. I mean, was it nil nil against Preston? Nil nil against fucking Blackpool. I mean, it's just not fucking good enough. I'm sorry, like, but yes, stability is the main. But it's, it, the way we're fucking going, and we're sticking with this manager in charge, we'll be back in the bottom three before you fucking know it. So it's time for the club to act now and get him out 
and get somebody decent in and get this club back up the table and get some momentum, a few more wins on the board because it ain't going to happen with him. That's my rant over. Um, have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, night. See you later.